Yo, 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 what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an ambient drill melody. Uh, I'm going to be going over a sample that I just made and showing everything that I did uh, from the MIDI to the effects um, and everything I did just to get that melodic ambient vibe. Hopefully you guys get some sort of inspiration or learn something new. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's get right into it. All right, so as you can see, um, I got the sample, the final sample pulled up here um, and we're sitting at 139 BPM. For drill, you usually want to be um, in the higher 130s or like the mid 140s in that range uh, for the BPM. And um, for the final sample, it's in B minor, um, but I think I made the sample in C sharp and then pitched it down uh, when I was done. So yeah, I'll go ahead and play what the sample sounds like uh, just so you can hear it. And then I'll get into exactly what I did. Yeah, as you can hear, pretty um, ambient, pretty melodic, pretty dark with the vocals going and uh, the bells and the textures and everything. It just kind of gives it that really ambient vibe. So yeah, uh, I'll go over everything that I did from the uh, patterns to the effects. All right, so the first thing that I did is I grabbed this one shot bell. And uh, what I did is uh, I just controlled the envelope, made sure that the, um, the hold is all the way up and then I increased the release. And then I kind of um, increase the attack just so it doesn't start right away and feel like really sharp. Uh, made sure it's cut. And then um, I pulled in a MIDI from Synthetic. So shout out to Synthetic. Um, pulled in this MIDI, D sharp minor. And uh, so it just sounded like this. Yeah, I mean, it sounds really bad <laughs> just with that, but that's why I added all of these effects right here. Um, I added a bunch of EQs, um, just a little, take out some harsh frequencies, take out some of the lows, some of the highs, did it again, and then took out a lot of the lows there. So this is what it sounds like with that. And then I added a reverb, delay, um, and I added this plugin um, I think it's, yeah, Finisher Micro. It's a free, I think it's free or it was free for a limited time. But this is a really good plugin. It has a bunch of different presets and they just kind of add like little, little touches. So this preset adds like a little, um, like high pitch kind of ambient sound. So I added that and then I half timed everything. And so it sounds like this. Obviously with the effects, it sounds a lot better. All right, so the next thing that I did is I just duplicated the same bell over. And then what I did is I had the original pattern in here. So I copied over the original pattern from the one that I just showed. And then I selected all of it, hit Alt-Y. And what that does is it flips it horizontally. So it puts the end at the beginning and the beginning at the end. And the reason why I did that is because I knew that I was going to um, reverse it when I bounced it out as an audio file. So I just hit Alt Y, reversed it, and then um, quick render as audio clip out here like this. I pitched it up um, a full octave and then I reversed it. And I added a bunch of effects. I added halftime, um, reverb, uh, this plugin called Shimmer by Valhalla. I use the big reverse preset and then put it at 50%. EQ'd out some of the highs and the lows. And then once I bounced it out, I added even more um, effects to it. I added RC20, another plugin from Valhalla called Uber Mod. Uh, moving in stereo just adds like, you know, width, delay, uh, modulation. And then I EQ'd even more of the highs and the lows. And then I put it in stereo. And this is what that sounds like. Yeah, it's like kind of it's kind of low, you know, kind of in the background, but here's what it sounds like together with the first pattern. Yeah, 
yeah then it just repeats the next thing that i did is i duplicated the bell again brought in the same pattern um, but what i did is i took everything and then i hit alt a and put the range up to two and um what that does is it just arpeggiates it so it makes the notes you know like chopped up like this and go up and down an octave yeah that's all i did for the pattern i added a bunch of effects to it so i added halftime reverb shimmer and um an eq and so i'll play what that sounds like so just even more ambience even more um of a melodic sound Kind of just in the background, um, added a bunch of stereo to it. And so with those three bells, it sounds like this. <clears throat> okay, and the next thing that I did is I pulled up Contact and I have this bank called Adam and um, i pulled up this preset oxygen this um contact bank is really good for like pads bells uh just kind of like ambient sounds in general so i pulled it up and um, i found the sound oxygen what i did is i just eq'd out some of the low end and that's it for the effects and uh, panned it to the right added some separation to it and it sounds like this And then it just repeats throughout the whole thing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it for that bell sound. And then I also added, um, I went into Arcade and pulled up this vocal bank and laid out this pattern. Added some delay and EQ to it. And that's it, it just repeats. So with those two things and the bells, it sounds like this. And then what I did with that bell sound from Contact is I copied it over and um, I pitched it up an octave for the second part. So. Sounds like that for the first part and on the second part. And the final things that I did was just to add a bass, um, a bass and textures. I have this bass pulled up right here. It's one shot bass. Um, I just made sure to turn everything down, put the hold all the way up, make sure it's cut, um, put it in mono and just a really simple pattern throughout the whole thing. And then I found two textures from a one shot pack. Uh, this one. Kind of sounds like keys jingling or something. And then this one, some white noise. So with everything together, all three bells, pad from contact and the vocal with the bass and the textures, it sounds like this. Yeah, once I had all the sounds laid out, um, I knew that it sounded good, so I was happy with it. And I just sequenced it out with the stems like this. And then I um, exported it as an MP3 file, brought it back in and um, pitched it down two semitones. So we went from C sharp down to B minor. And um, this is what it sounds like in B minor. Yeah, and then the last thing that I did on the master, I just put an imager to uh, widen it up and then I used Maximus to make it a little bit louder. And that's pretty much it for the sample. Um, like I said, 139 BPM, B minor, um, a lot of layers, a lot of ambient layers with the bell. Um, hopefully you guys learned something with the way that I manipulated that bell um, in different ways with the halftime and um, arpeggiating it and all that, reversing it, pitching it up, all that kind of stuff. Um, everything else is pretty simple. The textures just kind of make it, I don't know, it just makes it a little bit more ambient. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 
for the tutorial. Hopefully you guys learned something and uh, see you in the next video.